Hello everyone. In last lecture we saw effect of power factor on wattmeter reading in two wattmeter method. Now it is it's important to take a revision of a point which is already covered in a previous lecture. That's why I am going to repeat again effect of power factor on wattmeter reading in a two wattmeter method. Okay. What is the meaning of effect of power factor on a wattmeter reading in two wattmeter method is that when wattmeter power factor changes or a power factor of a load changes then how will it affects on the reading of two wattmeter method. Now see here in two wattmeter method the reading of W1 is equal to Vi cos 30 plus 5 and W2 is equal to Vi cos 30 minus Okay. Then if power factor is unity that is power factor is equal to 1 then phi is equal to 0. Then W1 is equal to what Vi cos 30 plus 0. Okay. And W2 is equal to what Vi cos 30 minus 0. The reading of W1 is equal to Vi cos 30 and W2 is equal to Vi cos 30. From this W1 and W2 reading we get to conclude that the both wattmeter reading somehow same okay and it is a half of the total power okay for example if a reading of wattmeter is what a 300 watt the reading of each wattmeter is what 150 watt and 150 watt itself the next power factor is 0.5 nothing but 60 degree for 0.5 power factor w1 is equal to vi cos 30 plus 60 because phi is equal to 60 and W2 is equal to Vi cos 30 minus 60. Then Vi cos 90 and Vi cos minus 30. Here cos 90 is a 0. That's why W1 is equal to 0. And W2 is equal to 0 0.866 Vi. Thus one of this watt meter read 0. And one of them is read positive reading. Then next one is what? If power factor is 0. That is phi is equal to 90. Then Vi cos 30 plus 90. And W2 is equal to Vi cos 30 minus 90. W1 is equal to Vi cos 120. And W2 is equal to Vi cos minus 60. Then W1 reads minus 0 0.5 Vi. And W2 is equal to 0 0.5 Vi. From this equation, we conclude that W1 and W2, the magnitude is somehow same. But there is a minus sign to the W1 reading. Or you can say one of the wattmeter major minus reading having the same value. Then next point is what maximum demand indicator. Then what is the meaning of maximum demand indicator? Generally, maximum demand indicator is used to measure the maximum demand in industry, in agricultural purpose, or whatever uh, where the where is the application is present. Here we need maximum demand indicator to measure the maximum demand. Okay, what is the meaning of maximum demand? It is the highest value of demand. Okay. highest value of demand suppose in an industry there are three types of load which is vary during the day for 10 o'clock it is a 120 for 12 o'clock it is a 200 and for again 5 o'clock it is a 300 then maximum demand is what 300 because the highest reading is what here 300 that's why the maximum demand is here 300 now see your construction diagram this is what uh, supply R Y B then this supply is given towards the CT and PT input okay for sampling and storing the signal then again these three phases are connected to three phase AC load by taking three lines from these three phases IR, IY and IB again it connected towards the CT input and PT input then this line sends load current and this line sends supply current as well voltage also then it generate or it provides the sampling and storing signal towards the digital signal processing again program and data memory also send some information towards the digital signal processing again keyboard is here for selection of parameter once signal is processed 
then it is available to display the reading it is now display of maximum demand kw okay here maximum demand is displays on the maximum demand indicator okay then now see here the high speed sampling analog to digital conversion and storing the sample data values for line mileage voltage and line current along with their respect to time of occurrence okay here line voltage and line current is stored in a sampling and storing device the sample data and stored line voltage line current can be used to calculate the active reactor and apparent power this sample or stored data is used to calculate active and reactive power the display of any or all the power can be done for their present status or past status along with the time of occurrence okay this display of the power can be used for present status or past status itself lakshya dia ya diagram madhe baka थ्री पेस लाइन है आर वाई बी थ्री पेस लाइन अपने आउटपुट देता सी टी इनपुटला पी टी इनपुटला ठीक है क्या थ्री पेस लाइन परत थ्री पेस ए सी लोडला कनेक्ट के परत तीन लाइन गए सी टी एन इनपुटला पी टी इनपुटला दिल्ली है नर इत सैम्पलिंग डाटा स्टोर होते मेजे वोल्टेज आ करंट की वैल्यू स्टोर होते ती कुछ देता डिजिटल प्रोसेसिंग देता इत प्रोग्राम आ डाटा मेमरी है तीसुद्धा डिजिटल सीग्नल प्रोसेसिंग देता आनी तो कीबोर्ड है पैरामीटर सिल्शन करना सुधा डिजिटल सीग्नल प्रोसेसिंग देता मैंनतर का होता तो हादे मैक्सिम डिमांड जो है तो डिस्प्ले के ठीक है मत लक्ष दिया हादे का संगित है जे का एनालॉग सिग्नल है हाई स्पीड से करंट आती वोल्टेज तो हादे स्टोर के मैं स्टोर के डाटा कसा यूज होते तो हा स्टोर के डाटा जनरली पावर मेजर करना सा यूज होता ठीक है क्या ब जे का अपने मैक्सिम डिमांड डिस्प्ले होना है तो अपन आत्ता यूज करू शको ठीक है आ पास्ट मधे का मैक्सिम डिमांड है त्या तो डाटासुद्धा अपन यूज करू शो ठीक है नेक्स्ट फोर क्वार इंडिकेटर नौ सीयर देर आर फोर क्वार आर प्रेजेंट हियर नौ क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री एंड Q4. Then kilowatt means what? Active power, and uh, kVR means uh, reactive power. Then what is the meaning of active power? Active power is expressed in a watt, also known as a real power. Okay. What is the meaning of active power? Active power is expressed in a watt, and also known as a real real power. Generally, active power is measured in a kilowatt or watt that's why your sign is what kilowatt or watt okay and active power is denoted by notation q next is what reactive power reactive power it is expressed in a volt ampere reactive v a r or you can say k v a r okay then what is the meaning of reactive power it is expressed in a volt ampere reactive power this power is stored in a components then they released again back to the source through the ac cycle okay this is the one kind of power which is stored in a component which component inductant capacitor again it releases and flow towards the supply side okay now see here again active power is a True power and reactive power is useless power. Okay, for rotation of fan, for rotation of mixer, for glowing of lamp, here we use active power. Reactive power is a useless power which flows towards the supply side. Okay, now see here. This arrow indicates right hand side. Towards the right hand side, it indicates plus, and towards the left hand side, it indicates. Minus. Now see here, quadrant one. What quadrant one says that where both the power is flow positively, positively here both are the powers are flow positively to the consumer load. 
here power factor is what uh, lagging because here inductive load is considered that's why in quadrant one power factor is what lagging again i am saying that both both this power is flowed towards the consumer here power factor is what lagging then quadrant number two here active power is what positive and flow towards the consumer and reactive power is what negative okay it is also known as negative means what export okay here again in quadrant number 3 reactive power and active power both are the negative and both are the power are going to be export okay this is not import to the load export means what take from consumer side import means how to provide towards the consumer side here again kilowatt is what export and kvr is what import it provides reactive power to consumer load and take power from consumer that's why it called kw as a export again i am repeating this topic what is the meaning of four quadrant indicator there this is used to measure the energy in a four quadrant itself. Baga Lakshida four quadrant indicator manjis kaya hai. Upon energy meter bi directional data measure karu shakto. Tantra baga kilowatt manjis kaya hai. Active power hai. Active power manjis as the real power. Tika ji upon consumer la supply karto. And reactive power ji ahe. The useless power hai. The upon consumer karun AC side may supply side la flow hai. Tika mu reactive power ka present as the. The reactive power capacitor inductor can load the store as the capacitor mother store as the leading as the and inductor mother store as the gas as the lagging as the okay mother kilowatt mother baga positive ahe it is the kaya hai positives ahe mother doni power kaya hota the import hota okay positive as like import negative as like export my po import manjas kaya the import my japan consumer la de to it okay supply side current consumer la de to it and export manjas kaya Consumer करूँ supply करेगे तो ठीक है मुझे kilowatt यानी kvr का ही करना है अपन consumer ला देना रहा है यहाँ अंदर quadrant number two में देखा गया kilowatt मुझे active power consumer ला देना रहा है reactive power consumer करूँ कहना रहा है यहाँ अंदर quadrant number three में देखा गया kilowatt अपन consumer करूँ ना कहना रहा है kvr सुधा का ही करना रहा है consumer करूँ ना कहना रहा है यहाँ अंदर बगा था quadrant number four में देखा गया kilowatt जी आ है consumer करूँ कहना रहा है ठीक है अने केवीआर जी आ है ते आपन कंज्यूमर ला प्रोवाइड करना रहा ठीक है तें नेक्स्ट बगा का आया है पॉइंट पेज सीक्वेंस इंडिकेटर ठीक है आता दोन टाइप चे पेज सीक्वेंस इंडिकेटर आ है रोटेटिंग टाइप आनी स्टार्टिंग टाइप ओके what is the purpose of phase sequence indicator to check the sequence of three phases whether it on the same line or not okay to check the sequence of three phases whether it is on the same sequence or not now what is the correct sequence note down r y b this is what the correct sequence okay then how many mm, methods are there to measure phase sequence or how many meters are there rotating type and static type these are the two meters which is used for phase sequence indicator now see here one of them is what rotating type this is what a rotating disc that's why we are called as a rotating type this is what r y v here we are going to connect or we are we have to connect three phases connect r here connect y here connect b here Okay, this is the disc. If this disc rotate same as a pointer, then it phase sequence would be correct. If this rotate opposite to the pointer, then phase sequence is incorrect. Now, see here what is the constructional detail for a rotating type phase sequence indicator? It consists of Three star connected coil mounted 120 degree apart in a space with a three end route out and mark R, Y, B. Okay. 
inside of this uh, meter there are three coils r y b and here we brought a connection from this three coil and connected or mark r y b and aluminum disc is mounted on the top of coil okay this is what the disc which is mounted on the top of coil this coil produces a rotating magnetic field because here three phase supply is connected to this coil which is a bottom side of the disc okay that's why it creates a rotating magnetic field when three phase winding are energized by three phase supply okay which sweep the stationary aluminum disc and produces ed emm induced in the disc which circulate an ed current in a aluminum disc okay then this rotating magnetic field induces ed emm in the disc and this disc due to emm and ed current start flowing to this disc hence a torque is produced on a disc and the direction of rotation depend on the phase sequence of the supply due to current flowing through this disc a torque is produced on the disc and due to this disc starts to rotating if the direction of rotation is same as the indicated by arrow head then the phase sequence of the supply is same if the direction of this disc rotation is same as the indication of this pointer then phase sequence is what is same that is r y b if the disc revolve in opposite direction indicate arrow head if this disc revolve opposite side that arrow head then this phase sequence is what incorrect ओके परत लक्ष द्या रोटेटिंग टाइप जे आहे ते आपण फेस सिक्वेन्स मेजर करायला घेतो यामध्ये आर आहे वाय आहे आणि बी आहे ठीक आहे आर वाय बी हे फेस सिक्वेन्स करेक्ट आहे मग आता कन्स्ट्रक्शन काय असतं तर ह्यामध्ये तीन कॉईल आहेत ॲल्युमिनियम डिशच्या आतमध्ये ह्या तीन कॉईलचं कनेक्शन आपण आर वाय आणि बीला दिलेलं आहे जेव्हा डिस्क ही ॲरोच्या डायरेक्शन रोटेट होते तेव्हा फेस सिक्वेन्स काय असतो करेक्ट असतो जेव्हा ही डिस्क ॲरोच्या अपोजिट डायरेक्शनने अपोजिट साईडने रि रोटेट होते तेव्हा फेस सिक्वेन्स इनकरेक्ट असतो ठीक आहे मग आता बघा फेस सिक्वेन्स इनकरेक्ट म्हणजे काय बी आर वाय असेल ठीक आहे वाय आर बी असेल हा इनकरेक्ट फेस सिक्वेन्स आहे ठीक आहे मग आता कन्स्ट्रक्शन बघा ह्या रोटेटिंग टाईपमध्ये तीन कॉईल आहेत त्या वन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीमध्ये ठेवलेल्या आहेत ठीक आहे आणि त्या वन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीचे कॉईलचे टर्मिनल जे आहेत ते आर वाय बीला कनेक्ट केलेले आहेत त्यानंतर बघा ॲल्युमिनियम डिस्क आहे ठीक आहे त्या ॲल्युमिनियम डिस्कच्या बरोबर खाली कॉईल्स आहेत त्या कॉईल्स काम आहे मॅनेटिक फील्ड तयार करायचं मॅनेटिक फील्ड कधी तयार करणार जेव्हा आपण त्याला थ्री पैसे सप्लाय देणार तेव्हा ठीक आहे त्यानंतर मॅनेटिक फील्ड तयार केल्यानंतर त्यामध्ये काय तयार होणार आहे डिस्कमध्ये ई एम एफ ई एम एफ तयार झाले की इडे करंट फ्लो होणार आहे इडे करंट फ्लो झाला की यामध्ये काय तयार होणार आहे टॉर्क तयार होणार आहे या टॉर्कमुळं काय होणार आहे डिस्क जी आहे ती रोटेट होणार आहे ठीक आहे जर डिस्क या ॲरोच्या डायरेक्शन रोटेट झाली तर म्हणायचं फेस सिक्वेन्स करेक्ट आहे जर ही डिस्क ॲरोच्या अपोजिट साईडनं रोटेट झाली तर म्हणायचं हा फेस सिक्वेन्स इनकरेक्ट आहे ठीक आहे देन नेक्स्ट इज वॉट स्टॅटिक टाईप नॉ सी युअर इन स्टॅटिक टाईप हिअर वी आर गोईंग टू यूज टू लॅम्प्स अँड वन इंडिकेटर लॅम्प वन इज कनेक्टेड टू आर फेज लॅम्प टू इज कनेक्टेड टू वाय फेज अँड इंडिकेटर इज कनेक्टेड टू बी फेज ओके सेम हिअर अगेन आर इज लॅम्प वन वाय इज लॅम्प टू अँड फॉर अ बी फेज इंडिकेटर इज कनेक्ट वाय इयर टू डायग्राम्स आय विल एक्सप्लेन इन लेटर वाय इयर टू डायग्राम्स नाव सी इयर फर्स्ट कन्स्ट्रक्शन कनेक्ट टू लॅम्प लॅम्प वन टू आर फेज लॅम्प वन टू आर फेज लॅम्प टू टू वाय फेज अँड इंडिकेटर टू बी फेज रजिस्टर आर कनेक्टेड इन सिरीज विथ द लॅम्प फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग द लॅम्प फ्रॉम ओव्हर करंट ओके Again here resistances are connected in series with the lamp for protecting the lamp from high current and breakdown voltage. If the phase sequence of supplies are YB, 
okay if the phase sequence of a supply is what ryb ryb phase sequence is what a correct phase sequence suppose if the phase sequence is what ryb then lamp 2 glow brighter glow brighter means what it provide high intensity illumination okay and the lamp 1 will be a dark dark means what there is a no light then phase sequence is what a correct if the sequence of the supply is reversed suppose if the sequence of the supply is reversed then lamp 1 will be bright and lamp 2 will be dark that's why we are use two diagrams okay this first diagram indicates correct phase sequence and next diagram indicate incorrect phase sequence again i am repeating if a lamp l1 is a dark lamp 2 is a bright then this is a correct phase sequence lamp 1 is a bright lamp 2 is a direct dark and it is what incorrect phase sequence the lakshya static type phase sequence indicator madhe apan जो का फेज सिक्वेन्स है तो करेक्ट है कि नहीं ये चेक करतो करते बीन फेजेस है आर है वाय है बी है ठीक है तो दोन डायग्राम का यूज के लिए मैं नर संग आर लगा ला लैम्प एल वन कनेक्ट करा एक लैम्प कनेक्ट करा वायला दुसरा लैम्प कनेक्ट करा बीला इंडिकेटर कनेक्ट करा ठीक है क्या बे अपन रेजिस्टन्स कनेक्ट के लिए लैम्प आतम ठीक है तो लैम्प प्रोटेक्शन करना सा समझा तर फेस सिक्वेन्स जर आर वाय बी आल तो लैम्प एल वन जो है तो डार्क आतो मे लाइट लगत नहीं एंड लैम्प टू जो है तो ब्राइट आतो मे जास्त उजेड़ो का फेस सिक्वेन्स करेक्ट आतो ठीक है जर फेस सिक्वेन्स इन करेक्ट है आर बी वाय आल तो लैम्प एल वन जो है तो ब्राइट होतो एल टू जो है तो डार्क आतो ठीक है मजेस का है जर अशा प्रकार जर लैम्प एल वन आर फेज मेला डार्क आल वाय फेज मेला ब्राइट आल तो अपन समझाए फेज सिक्वेन्स करेक्ट है तो आर फेज मेला लैम्प ब्राइट आल वाय फेज मेला डार्क आल तो अपन कन्सिडर कराए तो फेज सिक्वेन्स इनकरेक्ट है मैं हाँ दोन डायग्राम का यूज के लिए पहली डायग्राम जी है ती करेक्ट फेज सिक्वेन्स है एंड जी का दुसरी डायग्राम जी है ती इनकरेक्ट फेज सिक्वेन्स ठीक है देन This is the last topic for chapter number three, measurement of power. I hope you understood each and every point of this chapter number three, measurement of power. Now, I am going to show what are the possibilities of MSPT question for your exam. These are the different question MSPT. First one is what state error occurring measurement of electrical power. We already covered there are different types of error. For example, error in a temperature, temperature error, connection error, okay, pressure coil error, capacitor error. Then represent the vector representation of power triangle. Okay, this is also covered. Third one is what state the merit and demerit of a power measurement using two watt meter meter. The co ask the question. The answer of this question is available on the notes. Next is what draw the circuit diagram for measurement of active power in a three phase load circuit using two watt meter meter, which is already covered in a video. The next one is what measurement of reactive power in a three phase load circuit using watt meter meter meter. It's also covered in a video. If you have doubt, you can directly contact for this answer. Next one was explain the error occurred due to pressure coil inductance of electrodynamic type wattmeter and how this error is compensated. Next one is what explain the effect of power factor on a wattmeter reading into wattmeter method of power measurement, which is. Covered in today's cell with the neat sketch explained working of dynamometer type of wattmeter. I was told you that is a dynamometer type wattmeter is one of the important topic for MSPT exam concern. The state and explain working of phase sequence indicator with suitable okay. in two minutes before. I explain you 
how it work test sequence indicator state the error occurring in wattmeter and suggest method of overcoming such type of errors okay the answer of this question is already covered in a wattmeter error list the various error occurred in dynamometer type and describe the way of compositing any one of type well question number 9 and 10 somehow are the same the way of asking is different so from this question we conclude that what are the main topics main topic is what measurement of power by using two watt meter method please write down this then error in a watt meter and how to compensate the error then measurement of power using one watt meter method then power triangle okay then dynamometer type watt meter these are the some important questions these are the some important topics for msbt exam if you prepare this topics then you will perform good in a msbt exam so i request you please prefer all this question if you have any doubt you can directly contact with me okay now i am going to stop this lecture thank you i will send the notes of same three phase power wattmeter method chapter in a group sy electrical a and sy electrical b in next lecture there will be a test on the chapter number 3 mcq type test is there minimum 10 questions are there for 20 marks so you students should prepare for this test the important points for a test is what electrodynamometer type wattmeter two power wattmeter method error phase sequence indicator maximum demand indicator these are the some important topics for a unit test or a class test so you students should prepare it's a must to give a test then there is some numerical in a chapter number 3 itself so i will explain this numerical in a classroom itself because it's difficult to understand numerical in a video lecture so i comment that i will explain this numerical in classroom thank you please write down all these questions i hope all you have wrote all this question Thank you.